Hello and welcome to a lovely day in Wicklow. Today what we're going to be doing is production panning with the Garrett Super Sluice. The classification that I have today is quarter inch. You could use half inch, uh, just quarter inch classification is just the one I happen to have with me today. I need this bucket to be level, but I also need the water off of here to trail back into the hole. Right, so let's give that a go. So because of the fact we're using quarter inch, I am gonna have to go to the classifier a lot more often, where with half inch, I might get 10, 12 draws of the sucker tube before I clear it. I'll quick slosh around, down, down, down. And we'll just park that off to the side there. If you haven't seen my other video on how to prospect for gold with a bad back, I'd highly recommend it. This is one of the tips I've given it. So you just bend straight down, you're looking straight forward, you're not even looking at the gravel. If you're looking at the gravel, you're creaking your neck. You know where the gravel is, you've already got the shovel in there. Looking straight forward and we lift up. And then to bend to the classifier, all we're doing is knees good bit apart, arms straight out, bend straight down. If you want to look at the classifier, that's fine, but your, your head is facing forward and your, your eyes are facing down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on with filling up that bucket. And once we get to pretty much a full bucket, I'm going to head down to the panning station and we're going to run on through. Let's go find the shiny. So just ready to start doing the production panning. Um, obviously because it's so close to the water, I can't bring the microphone out. So what I'm gonna do is gonna put you in fast frame mode while I work this on down. It's probably do about two buckets and then we'll do a clean out and see how much gold you have. Hopefully loads. Let's go find a shiny. I'll always work the very bottom of the bucket down fully. Just gonna come out somewhere, where it's relatively deep. Makes it a little bit easier to pan. Okay, let's have a look here. Let's try and come around to the light so you can see this property. So with this particular pan, there's only two riffles. The stratify it, bring it to the front. Our all we're washing is the front riffle. What's up, pick it up again. Great stuff. All we'll do is tip out a good bit of water and we'll just work it on back. And any gold, if there is gold, is going to be up in the top corner here. Let's have a quick look. There's one piece up here, but it might be just stuck in the groove. Let me just, if you ever unsure and you have like something like shiny, it might be just stuck in the groove of the pan. All you do is just push it aside, put water onto it and wash back. If it's gold, it'll stay up here. It ain't going anywhere. So what I'll do is, I'm going to tip it out via the spout. And we want to make sure the bucket, the pan is nice and level. You can see where there's a good bit of material in there. Just shake it a few times so everything becomes stratified and mixed together. And I can put it into the pan to wash out the bucket, tip it upside down, throw water at it. I said all the advancements in technology, that's the only way for it. Tip it a good bit of water. If there's gold here, great. If there's no gold here, oh, garnets. Oh, wow, they're nice garnets. I haven't seen garnets in a while. Okay, so we didn't find any gold there per se. So it's possible that when we were digging here, the hole was collapsing. What we were getting gold wise was just flood gold on the surface. Okay, so it's unfortunate we didn't find any gold, but we got to see the process of production panning with the Garrett Super Sluice. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to fill in this hole that I've dug because, let's face it, we're in a public place. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode of production panning with the Garrett Super Sluice. If you like this video, chances are you like the videos I've previously posted and the ones we post in the future. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and sure I'll catch you next one. We can all go buy more shiny. Bye-bye.